Our project is meant to create a battery-powered ion which will be charged by solar energy. We expect that we will win the competition and we will be able to present our project successfully. We are into making a solar chargeable car and as we are here today, we expect nothing but the best from the judges to admire our project. Our idea is to make an automated system which will help seeds to germinate faster, produce seedlings in large quantities for transplanting, help to prevent seedlings from dying before transplanting and will also help to monitor the growth and germination of seedlings during the day and the night. And in addition, our automated system will help students, both pre-tertiary and tertiary institutions, to use to learn to get more knowledge and understanding on the concept of germination. Our idea is an automated talking bin. And we came up with this idea because we wanted to reduce the rate at which people litter the environment. Our idea is about using waste materials, specifically coconut husks and cow dung, to make charcoal. And during the process, we discovered that the wood, the tree-based charcoal uh, were being used to produce biochar. So we, we found that our own is more organic than the tree-based charcoal. So we also decided to use it for biochar and organic fertilizer. judges called us to present our project. We were a little bit nervous, but when we started, we saw that we can do it. So we put out our best, and we saw that the judges were excited of our presentation and our project. We didn't know that we could present like that. So when we finished, and our teacher told us that we did well, so we were very happy and overwhelmed. Our pitch went well, and we were encourage that our project is a very good one. So at the judging event, the judge shared some relevant comments about our project, like where we store the excessive gas. And so we, are, we didn't think about that, but we are willing to think about that and get where you store the excessive gas. So the G-Step Challenge, which critically has guidance and mentoring as part of its foundation, is something that is very crucial for young people. Uh, young people are passionate, they have ideas, but without the right guidance, the right mentoring and the enabling environment, it will be difficult for them to achieve anything useful. So being able to contribute my part and be part of uh, this exciting challenge that uh, empowers young people uh, was something that I thought was good to be part of. G-STEP has provided me as a teacher with a very big opportunity to change my way of teaching. Now I incorporate practical lessons in whatever I do in my class. And also my students too have improved. They now demonstrate everything that they are taught. They look around looking for problems and how those problems could be solved. Since I joined this step, I've learned more about technology, how to connect wires, the positive, negative, and how to control parts of the of materials, technologies. I think we should continue the program because continuing the program will give others who have the mind to like innovate and invent things, but they don't have the chance to put these things into reality. This is the one. We haven't done this before, this is our first project. This particular challenge is called the pilot challenge. 
because we're going to run a full year challenge. But from next year, we're going to run a full year challenge from January to December. That means the numbers of groups that present increase. So this year we've selected 50. Next year we are uh, scaling up to 100 groups that are selected. So like you rightly said, this is the beginning. Can we get there?